Hey, my name is Fan Fantasy, and I mainly cover tactical and immersive games. In this video, I want to share with you another tank tactic that you can use in games like Gunner Heat PC, Squad, or even Steel Beast. This maneuvering and tactic may save your lives, and it's called jockeying. The term jockeying is used in the Canadian Army as well as the Australians, and for the Americans, it is essentially another way of doing berms. This tactic will work well with NATO tanks because of the good reverse speed over the Soviet tanks. But before I go further, please leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and to subscribe to support my channel, it will mean a lot if you do so. If you remember my previous video, I shared about why you should hold down your tank, and how you should reverse your tank while reloading, and having good firing position. However, vehicles should change positions to avoid being engaged too long or being spotted by them. Although it's good practice to do burns, the enemy can expect you to come back if you're too stationary, hence why you'll need to perform the jogging maneuver. To jockey, you will need to move to a different firing position, usually reversing at a 45 degree angle. You will reverse out of sight, the direction where you want to be next. Think of it as tracing an invisible Y shape on the terrain. Ideally, you move about 100 meters to the next firing position, either turning left or right from your original position. Usually, moving away from this distance will put you out of the Soviet gunner's sights and will force them to research for you. Again, the advantage of jockeying will make the enemy a lot more harder to target you, while using your speed and terrain to your advantage. It is best to look at your map and to scout to see the best possible positions to jockey. So in summary, the jockeying maneuver is useful if you don't want to overexpose your tank for too long while making the enemy search for you. Once you're in a good position, you can pop up and take out the enemy in this last known position. To do this, don't be too stationary, reverse to where you need to go to, at a near 45 degrees, make sure you're out of sight, and then move forward to the next firing position, just about 100 meters away from your last known position. Think of it as tracing the letter Y or V on the terrain. What I love about Gunner Heat PC is that you can always practice good habits and tactics and to find ways to win. Please let me know in the comments if you find this helpful or if you've used it in other games or even in Gunner Heat PC. I do want to give a shout out and thanks to the real armor guy for showing me this tactic and also the Tanksim community for explaining this. For the next part of the video, I'll be demonstrating the jockey maneuver in the mission called Silver Dart. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this and to subscribe to stay up to date. And as always, enjoy. Let me know what you think. Hey guys, so I just told you about what jockeying is. And now I'm going to demonstrate in Gun Heat PC. So this is actually a really good terrain to practice it and we're gonna set a position in this BP area get a second tank to halt here and I'm gonna scan and it looks like we're picking up targets on that hill to our front one of the things about jockeying is that you will have to move and sometimes moving is a little bit tricky I'm gonna fall back just a bit we'll do about two or three rounds and we'll jock to the left Target right there, and he's destroyed. A lot of them moving up. All right, we're gonna jock it to the left now. Make sure to you in third person. We got the seat to the right, but I don't think that's a priority right now. And one of the things you want to be mindful of is you want to be concealed. So about down here would be pretty good. It's pretty easy to be a little bit tunnel vision, so jockeying is a good way of practicing moving around and maneuvering. So some of them are still up. Hit. There you go. I think one of them's still up. Get that one over there. And target. Big story. Move him up here just a bit. And I hear our cast somewhere. That's really cool. Oh, we got tanks. They're get destroyed. Oh, this is really bad. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Second tank. And he's dead. Where is he? Oh, there he is. 
Hit. We're jockey now. We're jockey. Because he's going to expect us to pop up in the same place. We'll do a short jockey, actually. PC. Okay. We'll go for that tank first. There he is. It's going to be a knife fight. I right, get destroyed. There you go. So that was a short jockey movement, but you know it worked. We'll deal with the PCs. So we got our heat index next. There's ATGMs down there, so I am a little bit cautious about that. We should be able to get him from here. There you go. What else do we got? Is he still up? We'll send one more in. Alright, that was one of the PCs. I'm pretty sure it might be more. I'll get our second tank. Alright, looks like our second tank's ballistic Peter is destroyed, but he's still going. I'm gonna get him to reload his sable. And I'll get our main tank. Right now, I'm going to jockey back, and we're going to move right of our second tank, and then we're going to scan towards the left side now, so for the sake of the video, I'm going to continue the jockey anyways. I'm going to keep moving about, about right here should be fine. That heat. I'm pretty sure it's just the BRDMs or leftover left BMPs. There it is. Do you see an ATGM down there? We didn't lose him. We're fine. Oh, it hit the tree, I think. <laughs> Alright. There we go. And there we go, and that was an AT gem right there. <laughs> but the enemy has been reduced and is retreating, and that's it. There you go. All right, taking a look at the after action review. Looks like the we spotted them through our front, and our first Abrams took the shot right here. They were coming out. Oh, how did you see him through there? But <laughs> and you missed the uh, first one, but you ended up getting the one behind. And then we targeted the one back here. We also took some shots as well, but thank goodness we're pretty okay. So we ended up jockeying towards the left flank. And then we took up more targets right here. And again, jockeying here, as you can see, the enemy had to relook for my tank. Essentially, they lost me, and they were pretty focused on one tank. Essentially, we surprised them and then destroyed them. This is where they lost, probably lost their targeting computer, or ballistic computer. We got more tanks coming from the left side. Looks like we, three of them platoon right here. Thank goodness they spotted, we spotted them before they spotted us. Yeah, so he... He was traversing right, trying to look for us. Alright, so over here we did a very short jockeying maneuver just to not peek at the same position, but you know, we want to flank him as well too. And if you look at it, it's about 32.6 meters. That was a very close distance right here. Um, but we ended up destroying him, which is great. And then we got the PC targets. Not a big threat. And then as suspected. Oh, there would be another BRDM on our left flank. And there was an ATGM personnel over there too, which we took out. Alright, I hope you all enjoyed this video and that you learned something new. Essentially, jockeying is using your speed, your maneuvering, and firepower to your advantage and to not be a stationary target to your enemies. And I know at first it might be a little bit tricky because we're so tunnel vision to an enemy target, 
but implementing the jockey maneuver will help you to not be overexposed. And you can always use your judgment to determine how many rounds you want to send before you maneuver around. Again, I hope you find this helpful. Let me know in the comments. At the end of the day, it is a video game, but for those who are interested in implementing tactics and maneuvering, I hope this helps. Again, shout out to the Tank Sim community as well as Real Armor Guy. Some of the footage I used was from the Australian Army, so thank you to them. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and to subscribe to stay up to date and to support my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Stay blessed.